Okay guys, very nice and frigid Pennsylvania day. It's about uh, 3.30 in the afternoon. Uh, just so you guys know, ground is frozen. And I'm out here with the, uh, the ZR600. Uh, hopefully with some natural lighting you guys can see what's going on here, but you guys can see my handy dandy pull start holding device. There's actually one good bolt right there. But there's two other ones that broke off right here. And I kind of think there's another one right down in there, but I kind of think. So anyways. <coughs> so there's gas in it. We might do a cold start. A little bit of gas in it. Okay guys, just a little more in on this uh, ZR600. Uh, I want to say three quarters of the year it sleeps in the uh, back porch here, but uh, now for in the winter time so I can move it real easy, I put it outside. As you guys can tell, I have it up on logs so the tracks aren't, so the track isn't on the ground or anything. And I also have the skis up on a piece of plywood in the front. 
It also has this uh, original Articat, uh, and it says ZR on the side, uh, snowmobile cover. Uh, just has the zipper in here so you can get to the gas tank and the key and stuff. Uh, because, <laughs> well, any of you guys at Snowmobile know, it's a pain in the ass whenever your uh, ass is wet all day long. So, uh, this is the li liquid cooled 600 uh, Suzuki. Um, this one here has the, uh, the ETT extra long travel suspension system in it. This sled rides really nice. It's a lot of fun to jump. Um, it rides nice. Um, yeah, and just a few pointers I'd point out for, you know, if you want to take a spin in your grass or whatever. Uh, before you go anywhere, you want to take and put a lot of water down here on the track around the sliders. And you don't really want to run it too long without snow in it because it'll uh, burn the track up and or the sliders. That's just uh, bad news and it's not really a good idea. I know uh, Pepper Cat Keys has changed the track on his. Mine has a few bad spots to it. And it's quite a few of the uh, few of the ice picks ripped out. Cause I mean I do run it a little bit, you know, when I shouldn't be when there's no snow, which really is what gets the tracks. This track is starting to peel apart a little bit, but it's not too bad. The worst thing is, is it's missing ice picks. It's pulled a few out into some trees and stuff over the years, but uh, you know, hopefully you guys can see that. I don't ride it too long. That four minutes I showed you guys is about the longer I ride it. Uh, until we get, I want to say at least six inches of snow on the ground, because otherwise it's really hard on it. Really hard on the track, especially. So, at any rate, I'll, uh, I got a few ideas in order to pull those bolts out of the block, but took it off and I tried to drill them out once and they must be hardened bolts. Drill bit just kind of bounced off of them. Uh, they're in aluminum so what I might try to do is uh, take a nut and try and weld them to the bolts that are broke off in the block. And I don't have to worry about the weld sticking to the aluminum. That's an idea I'm gonna try. As you can hear though it starts pretty well as long as you look at the pull starter before you get to start it look at it and adjust the vice grips accordingly. All I do is just line the holes back up and put the vice grips on it. But I know it's hard on it. So you guys don't have to tell me that. I already know it's hard on the sled doing that. So, anyways, thanks for watching.